Hey everybody, happy Passover and welcome to the Iron Matzah cooking show. Uh, I understand that might sound a little weird, that was the best name we could come up with on the fly. If you think there's a better name, put it in the comments and I will make sure not to read it. So today we're going to be cooking a recipe that you can do for brunch because just because it's Passover doesn't mean you can't have a good brunch. If anything, brunch makes more sense. If the Jews fleeing Egypt don't have time to, for the bread to rise, they probably don't have time to have breakfast and lunch, so brunch is just more efficient. And nothing is more brunch than Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, usually you take an English muffin followed by a slice of ham, a poached egg, and then a buttery yolky hollandaise sauce on top, which is obviously galactically unkosher and also has bread in it. So we're gonna have to tweak a lot of things to make this a uh, solid Passover recipe. Thing number one, instead of an English muffin, we're gonna make a fried matzah patty, and I will explain how to do that in a moment, but that's gonna be our bready base. And then, you know, we're still gonna have the poached egg, that's pretty much the only thing that stays the same. Instead of a hollandaise sauce on top, we're gonna do a, a pomegranate uh, margarine sauce. Uh, margarine's not butter, so we can get away with that. And then instead of the ham, we're going to use some nice kosher meat. It's a nice thing of beef salami, and it's glott, which means it's smooth, maybe. So that's what we're gonna do. You have no idea how hard it is to get kosher, thick salami in Flagstaff. I had to have a friend smuggle this across county lines to get it to us. So we're really glad that it's here with us today, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And I'm gonna try to keep the innuendos to a minimum. But uh, there you go, now it's Jewish. But I can't make any promises, so. Now, what we're gonna use to help fry the salami, we have, we have something really special today. This is schmaltz, which is Jewish lard, essentially. It's chicken fat. Uh, this is some real old school stuff. This is quality uh, Jewish fat that you use right here. To get your hands on it, uh, I've been told you can get these at pretty much any kosher grocery store. Uh, if you can't do that, you can make it yourself by getting like a thousand chickens and making it that way, or find any Jewish woman over the age of 60 and they'll probably hook you up. First hit's always free. There we go, just make sure it gets all the fat around there and fry those puppies up. And while that's frying, we will prep our fried matzah patty. Fried matzah, essentially, it's something that a lot of Jews cook on the fly throughout the year, because you always have some spare matzah in the bowels of your cabinet and you always have some eggs. So it's essentially scrambled eggs and matzah. And there's two ways to do it. Uh, you could do it like a traditional scramble, or you can do it like a patty where you use the egg to bind the matzah together and then cook it almost like a pancake. And a lot of people do that too. Uh, and that's how we're going to do this today. For this particular instance, I'm doing one egg to two sheets of matzah. So take two sheets of matzah, run it under the sink. You just break it all up. Break it up like that. Mix it all in. You want a nice eggy matzo mixture, you can crack it up with the fork a little bit. So now what we're doing is uh, we're taking the matzo and we're just forming it into a patty. It's gonna not feel very firm. That's okay because when it cooks, it'll constrict a bit. You can probably do it better than me. This is like probably one of the few cooking shows out there where you can actually do it better than the person cooking. So these, uh, these salami pucks, they seem pretty done. Lip, nice. Nice chunk of meat right there. We got this schmaltzy salami fat right here, and that, that's gonna be what we cook our fried matzo patties in. And I'm going to not burn my hands right now. There we go. All right. All right, here's the other one, here's the other one. There we go, all right. Bring them down, get them nice and frying in that schmaltz. These are gonna cook really quickly, cause it's egg. So, you know, give it maybe two, maybe like maybe in two minutes. It really depends on how hot it is. I'm actually gonna turn down the heat a little bit here, try to give these guys a bit of a break. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nice. There we go, there we go. And, perfect. I'm just really, I'm just really stoked, cause like, very few times whenever I flip anything, it's like golden brown and delicious. It always usually is undercooked or overcooked. So the fact that I'm hitting it right now means I'm probably due for a real catastrophe in a moment. So stay tuned. 
Now obviously you're also going to want to poach an egg to make this Eggs Benedict. Uh, we're not really going to film that for uh, a couple reasons. Reason number one, we're lazy. And reason number two is there's just so many different ways to poach an egg. We really don't need to tell you how to do it because uh, whatever way I do it usually doesn't work. We're also cheating. We're using like these, these fancy poach egger things just so we know we're doing it right. So, you know, poach an egg, find it. Go Google it, it's not that difficult. It's like, I can poach an egg, so I know you can, right? But we're not just gonna show it. So you'll see the final product, I promise. Look at that. It's all starting to come together. So we're gonna make a quick sauce to go with uh, this. Usually holiday sauce is butter and egg yolk. We already got enough egg, because we got egg matzah, and then egged together in the fried matzah patty, and then the egg itself. So instead of eggs, we're going to not use that, and we're not, we can't use butter, because we're using meat. So we're gonna put, some margarine in there. Margarine is not dairy, so we're cheating a little bit. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a, uh, like a pomegranate margarine sauce. Plating! All right, so we got, again, fanciest plate I own. It's a little bit of a crack on it, but that's okay. Uh, because we're fancy, we're gonna put a bed of arugula down, because this is an eggs benedict, by the way, so might as well get some, some nice arugula right there, you know, and, uh, with that, I'm going to start by having some of the sauce. We're just going to put, I'll do it this way, I'm going to just pour a tiny bit of the sauce just to kind of, you know, give them that. Then we got our two matzo patties. Remember when I said there was going to be some catastrophe at some point? I'm using this. This is not the one to use for this. So uh, the eggs. Came out a little janky, but that's okay. All right, there we go. That was stressful. Then we're going to take our sauce. We're gonna put a little bit, we're gonna cascade it. It has to cascade down like that. And then because it's me, put a little bit of green onions on there because everything looks better with green onions. And, and, uh, yeah, let me just do all the stereotypes here. Let's get some black pepper. Just a little bit, just a pinch. All right, so we have our Passover eggs Benedict here. We got a fried patty, fried matzo patty, some salami, poached egg, a butter pomegranate sauce, some green onions on a bed of arugula because we're fancy and we always will be. You look like you're davening. <laughs> this is really tasty. Um, it's really rich, um, but that's what brunch is anyway, um, both as far as taste and uh, other metaphorical reasonings too behind brunch. Uh, but, you know, it's just a solid thing to make. You got the sweetness of the matzo patty, you got the saltiness of salami, you got the egg, you got the butteriness of the margarine, not butter, over top. So once again, I hope you enjoyed yourself with this iron matzo. Uh, cooking show today where we made Passover Eggs Benedict. Uh, besides that, happy Passover, stay creative, and uh, peace.